You are about to see a demonstration of CEDAR. CEDAR is a state-of-the-art programming system which combines in a single integrated environment high-quality graphics, a sophisticated editor and document preparation system, and a variety of tools for the programmer to use in the construction and debugging of his programs. We are looking at a bitmap display connected to my personal computer, a Dorado. The figures you see at the bottom of the screen are called icons. They represent objects that are of potential interest to me, but not currently in active use. Some of them represent text documents, scanned images, or other data structures that I can look at and manipulate. Others represent tools or services that I can use. Their shapes are meant to be suggestive of their function. I can open an icon by pointing at it with a device called a mouse and clicking one of the mouse's buttons. Let's open the clock. This icon in the lower left-hand corner that looks like a file cabinet views the file tool, a facility for obtaining files from remote servers. And this icon views a text document. Each of these rectangular viewing areas is called a viewer. Viewers are the basic display paradigm of Cedar. This text document is the online documentation for the viewer package itself. Notice that the screen is divided into two columns. When I open more than one viewer in the same column, as I have on the left, the viewers automatically share the space available. At the top of this text viewer are a collection of menu buttons for invoking useful operations. Some of them are only visible when I move the mouse into the caption. I will use the grow menu button to make this document full size. At the same time, let's get rid of the tank and some of these other things we won't be needing. This document is a Tioga document. It is in the form of a tree structure with successive levels corresponding to greater levels of detail. This makes it easy for the user to browse through the document and quickly find the part that interests him. For example, we can scroll to the section on predefined viewer classes and then click the More Levels menu button to see more detail. Clicking it again shows us yet further detail. Let's return to the introduction and I'll briefly show you how the Tioga Editor works. The Tioga Editor allows me to select individual characters, words, or nodes. Using the Tioga Editor, you simply point and type and the characters are inserted into the document. Commands are given using various control keys. For example, I can undo this insertion with a single keystroke. I want to emphasize this sentence of the document to draw it to your attention. It says, it, the viewer package, provides the illusion to the programmer that there is a private display, mouse, and keyboard associated with each application while allowing the user to simultaneously interact with many such applications. This is an important point. Users can and do make heavy use of this parallelism in Cedar. It enables them to start one task before another has finished and to switch back and forth between several tasks such as editing, compiling, reading mail, etc. We aren't going to be needing this viewer, so let's destroy it using the Destroy Menu button, which is in the caption area of the viewer. Notice that this button has a line through it, indicating that it is guarded. Guarded buttons must be clicked twice in a short time interval to take effect. This is to guard against the user's inadvertent destruction of useful work. Let's go ahead and destroy this viewer. These sort of touches, like undoing, guarded buttons, the ability to recover destroyed edits, etc., are what some might describe as frills. However, we believe they contribute a surprising amount to programmer productivity. They allow the user to move ahead quickly with confidence that he can avoid or recover from a disaster. We have placed a great deal of emphasis on them in the design of Cedar.